So I don't know if you've heard, but we're burning up the International Space Station. And that's literally NASA's plan. Sometime in 2030, NASA is planning a controlled deorbit of the space station over a remote part of the ocean. NASA selected SpaceX to build a deorbit vehicle that will slow down the velocity of the ISS and eventually it'll start dragging on the atmosphere and disintegrate. If you want to understand a little bit more of the orbital mechanics behind this, check out this video here. So what's next? Are we giving up on space habitation? Well, not quite. NASA put out a competitive process for commercial LEO destinations, which stands for low earth orbit, where it wants to merely be a customer of a space station, not running the space station itself. And I'm going to run you through a few of the plans that are in the works. There are really four main contenders that are making serious attempts. Blue Origin's Orbital Reef, Axiom Space's Modular Space Station, Star Lab, and VAST. Blue Origin's space station is probably the most ambitious and the largest. They've explicitly talked about a mixed-use station that has space for tourism, research, and other uses. They've also mentioned ASU and other universities doing research on board the spacecraft. They've gotten funding from NASA so far, and the launch time is proclaimed to be around 2027. Axiom is taking an interesting approach that I like. They're bolting on a small module to the existing ISS and then separating from it and adding more of their own modules onto it. They've also gotten funding from NASA and they have similar plans in mind as Blue Origin, the research, commercial activity, tourism, etc. Starlab is also a smaller proposed station, likely focused on science and joint ventures with government agencies. However, it's also gotten Hilton Hotels to sign on as a potential customer, which would be awesome. Haven is another smaller proposed space station, largely funded by a crypto billionaire named Jed McCaleb. They're a much newer company that hasn't been around as long. So let's see, I'm not sure who the favored horse is in this race by industry insiders. I personally like the modular, more incremental approach of Axiom, but I'm sure there are still a million details to work out. Many people are planning 2026 to 2027 timeframe, but I'm, those things always get delayed a couple years.